Good morning, and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodholt. I remember a long time ago offering a sermon on hope. The sermon began by contrasting between wishing and hoping. Wishing, it seems to me, is looking for something without the realistic expectation that it will come true. Hoping, on the other hand, seems to me to look for something with the expectation that it will come true. That's why we don't wish in God. We hope in God. We, can't, we can trust and be sure in the promises of God. This week we are looking at some common words that you might hear around church a lot, but which we use so much, perhaps we tend to overlook some of the depth of what they mean. Today is perhaps the most difficult word of the week, hope. The Oxford Companion to the Bible begins its article on hope by defining it like this, an attitude toward the future, an assurance that God's promises will be kept, a confidence that what is bad will pass and that what is good will be preserved. Interestingly, in Hebrew, one of the words for hope has connections to the word for rope or cord, something implying that hope is the rope we cling to in time of need. Another word that can serve as hope is connected to a word that means wait. We wait patiently for God to act, assured that God will. Sometimes in the Bible, the word hope means to take refuge in the sense that in a world of storms blowing against us, we take refuge in God. Underneath all of this is a sense of trust in God and God's promises. Interestingly, hope can be both a noun and a verb. Hope can be the thing we have inside during troubled times and the act of clinging to God. In the book of Hebrews, the author says, Faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. I think it is those words assurance and conviction that move us from wish to hope. The promises of God are not empty. They are real and true. Inside our wedding rings, Nan and I have inscribed the citation of a Bible verse. We have the normal things inside our rings, too. Our initials, in her ring, my initials, and then hers, and in my ring, her initials, and then mine, to say who gave this ring to whom. And we also have our wedding date inscribed in there, too, which I guess is helpful if we ever forget when we got married. Most of that's pretty normal. But we also have a Bible verse there, too. Of course, it was too long to do the whole verse, so we just put the citation there. This particular verse has become important to us and spoke to us of our prayer for God to bless us and to remind us of the assurances and promises we have from God. The verse is Psalm 33, 22, and it has guided the two of us in our marriage. And as it has, may it now guide you in life. I leave you with it now. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us, even as we hope in you. Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.